guys, I'm Kate Simsley and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm super glad that you're back and if you're new here, then welcome in. Today, we're going to imagine if Barbie lived in Evergreen Harbor. So this house that we're building is a one bedroom, one bathroom, trailer style home for Barbie. I imagine that this is where Barbie would live before she was rich and famous and I think it turned out absolutely adorable. It is very pink and very feminine and just very Barbie. That's all I can say. You'll see it come together. It's pretty quick. It's not a very long video, um, but I do. I cut out a lot of footage. I had to fiddle with the roof a lot to get it to work. I wanted the roof to curve over the entire trailer. And so it required a lot of fiddling. I ended up putting in two skylights. I guess you'd call them skylights. They end up being rooms. One of them is the bathroom and the other is like a little office nook. And so I cut out a lot of that footage because it was a lot of fiddling with the rooms to get them to work. I had started out with this like, um, gabled roof and I had pulled it all the way down. I didn't like the way it looked, so I put a flat roof, but then I didn't like that either. So it ends up being a combination of the two. So it is going to be gabled roofs on either side. Well, the half gable roof ends up being on either side. And, um, there is a patio up there. I end up putting like a rooftop patio and it has a table, chairs, and there ends up being an easel up there as well, which you will see. And I think the whole thing's very cute. It's small. It's not actually a tiny home. It doesn't fit the tiny home category according to the game, simply because I used a lot of different things to get the roofs to work and because of the rooftop patio. So it's not technically a tiny home, but to me it is. It's very small and you'll see that. But yeah, like I said, it's very pink and Barbie and yeah, yeah, I love it. It's a lot of fun. So I just imagined that Barbie lived in Evergreen Harbor. So hopefully you can imagine that as well and hopefully you'll like it. So I've been playing a lot of other games lately. I've been playing a lot of uh, House Flipper. I don't, if you don't know what the game is, essentially you buy houses and you fix them up and you flip them and you make money. Um, to start out with, there's a lot of like jobs that you have to take. You get emails about different jobs, and you take these jobs and complete the tasks. You help clean up houses mostly, um, and then it's like adding rooms or adding things to rooms and stuff to make money. And then eventually you get to the point where you buy houses, and you can do pretty much whatever you want to them. You just can't touch the exterior walls, but you can do anything you want inside, and I'm loving it. It's a very relaxing game, actually. Because there's a lot of cleaning, <laughs> you get to like clean windows and you clean dirt off floors and stuff. It's like ASMR, I'm telling you. I don't like cleaning in real life and honestly my house is a mess because let's be serious, I'm lazy and I don't want to do it. So it's funny that I really enjoy cleaning in a video game, but like if you could just click things and they were clean, I'd probably clean in real life. But unfortunately it's not like that, it takes a lot of effort and I don't want to do it. But in this game it is so satisfying, you clean windows. You come across cockroaches, like that's the point that I'm past all that actually. But at one point you come across cockroaches and it's disgusting. Like they make a noise when they run around. It's really gross and they're everywhere and you have to use a vacuum to suck them all up. Oh, it's quite disturbing, but it's so satisfying. I love it. So that's House Flipper. If you've ever played it, let me know in the comments what you think because I'm totally addicted to it right now. And uh, yeah, I can't stop. I just can't stop. I love it. So let me know if you've played House Flipper before and uh, what you think of it. What is your favorite part of the game? I'm absolutely having a blast playing it and I think it's just wonderful. I've also been playing uh, City Skylines. So City Skylines is essentially Sim City, and you build a city. But it's actually really hard because you start out with like a very small amount of money and a connection to the highway and you have to build your city from there. And it's pretty hard to get a city up and going to have everything you need because you have to have power and water and you have to have roads. You have to have an industrial area, commercial and residential. And as I, like, basically when you start, you have to get up to like 450 people before it unlocks the ability to get like loans and have taxes. So you're not making any money at first. You have to be really careful. But it took me about 20 tries to get my city like in a state that it was like functional. But once you do, it's addictive. Like, it's so addictive. Honestly, I have, I, I can't even, I can't explain it. It's like, amazing. I don't even know. And it's really funny because in the game, every little person that you see walking around, like, you can zoom in and you can see all the little people and stuff, and every one of them has names and, like, kind of like a backstory. It's kind of cute. 
So that's City Skylines, and I'm really liking that one, too. But Hell's Bloodborne's gotta be my favorite, I think. It's just, it's my nighttime game, if that makes sense. Like, before I go to bed, I will go on Hell's Bloodborne and clean for a little bit. Lately, I've been taken to, um, watching other people do it on Twitch, and I just kind of do it along with them. I'll, like, sit and renovate my houses while they're doing theirs, and I think it's very fun and relaxing, and I like it. I was honestly thinking of starting to stream. I've been thinking about it a lot. I want to start streaming Sims, but I also kind of want to start streaming House Flipper and maybe some City Skylines as well. I'm just not sure because I'm shy and I don't know. I might do it. I might try and stream without a camera at first and see how it goes and go from there. But I don't know. People on, on streams are a lot different than people here on YouTube. Like on YouTube, they just click away and they don't even care. But on stream, I've noticed people say some pretty mean things, so that kind of scares me. But I don't know, I might try it. We'll see what happens. I gotta figure out my audio before I can. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing and my audio is bloody awful. So I'm gonna try and figure all that out. But I really think I want to do it. It looks fun and I'm playing these games anyway. It would kind of be cool to play the games and talk to some people while I do. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But anyway, let's talk about the build for a minute. As you saw there, the outside came together. It was pretty quick. It's very pink. Um, we're moving inside. We have a small kitchen. It's just literally one strip of countertops and a sink and a stove and a fridge. I did fiddle around with the sink. I didn't really like where I put it. But I do end up switching it over to the opposite wall here shortly. And I just have a couple of cabinets and a fridge. And it's pretty simple. We're going to also put a little living room and then the smaller window area in the living room becomes a little office and I do have a ladder going up to the rooftop uh the rooftop patio is what I'm trying to say and like I said there's a table up there which I had originally put on the front porch I'm gonna move it up to the rooftop patio but um I like the way it turned out I think it's it's functional it works and it's cute it's very small and cozy and perfect for Barbie I think it's before she met Ken oh you know what maybe Knox is Ken like, that could be a storyline. Like, Knox is kind of cute. He could totally end up being Ken. You just never know. Anyway, she lives in Evergreen Harbor before she met Ken. And this is her adorable little home. Like I said, it's very pink. You're going to see what you can already tell. Like, the fridge is pink and everything. I went a little overboard, but Barbie loves pink. So, why not? I do end up adding a little TV stand here with the small Evergreen Harbor TV. And I do end up putting a stereo in by the desk there. I love that stereo cabinet. Like, it's old style and I just adore it. I remember when I was younger, we had one. No, it wasn't pink, but it was similar to that. Like, it had a record player in it. It was big and bulky and oh, I just loved it. I think it's so fantastic. It's funny how they came back in style now and you can get them again, but they're like upgraded and digital and stuff. It's very neat. So I used that tile. I think it's from like Snowy Escape. It's super weird. There's like cute little cats on it. I've never used it before. But I thought it was very fitting in this house, and so I did use that. I didn't put any cat items in here. Originally, I thought about putting cat items, and then I forgot all about it, and I didn't. But it kind of would be cool to have Barbie have a little pet cat, and it would work well in this house. I'm going to add some plants here on this little plant stand, and just some knickknacks around the room. I add some wall plants and decorations, and then we'll move on to the bedroom and bathroom. As I said, this is just one bedroom. Uh, it's got a double bed though, and it's functional, uh, reachable from both sides. And so you can have two Sims living here if you wanted to. But I was just imagining Barbie, single little Barbie living by herself. There's not really too much to say. Like it's a pretty simple house, straightforward. I add some plants hanging by the office and I think it ends up looking pretty cute. And I like it. I end up using that plant from the Blue Moon Rooms kit. It's like a light, but a plant. And I think it looks really cute in the corner there. I really like that light. I just wish that... I don't know. I wish they had come in different lengths, if that makes sense. Like, I don't, I don't know. Something. Something about it. Like, I often use it and I'll size it down to make it smaller above a table or on an entry. But, like, I do really love it. And the swatches in the Blue Moon Room kit, the swatches that came with that kit are actually pretty good, too. The new kit should be coming out soon, so it's a wedding theme pack. I'm not sure how I feel about it, in all honesty, I have like literally no interest in weddings. However, everybody seems really excited. 
I'd love to know how you feel. Like, what do you think about the new kit? Are you excited for it? Are you going to buy it? Do you want it? Let me know what you think. I think I'm, I'm probably going to buy it because I buy every kit because I'm a sucker. But I, I'm curious about the build and buy that comes with it. And it comes with a new world, which is super exciting because I feel like I need one. I always need a new world. So I am excited about that. But the kit itself, I don't, I don't think I'll ever um, have a winning. I'll probably try it once, but I'm not really into it. Usually my sims like elope and get married instantly and whatever, or I like cheat it. I don't know. Let me know, do you uh, make a big deal of your weddings when you're playing the game? Or do you just like have them get married, get it over with and start having babies? Because a lot of people do. I've been thinking about starting like a small let's play because I like never play the game. And I'm wondering if like I should try and like maybe have a let's play video once a week or something. But I'm not really sure which one to do. Everybody does the 100 baby challenge or the legacy challenges. I'm not sure which I would want to do. If you have ideas, let me know. I'd love to hear them. I am concerned it. I'm not big on playing, but I kind of think it'd be fun. I really liked, I started, when we got Cottage Living, I started a farm. And I have that same, I still play her. Like, I love her so much. So I was thinking of maybe doing that kind of let's play. Like, maybe starting a single woman and she'll have a farm and we can build from there. But I'm not sure. Let me know. Share your thoughts in the comments. That would be cool to see what you think. Give me some ideas. So yeah, you saw the bathroom and bedroom come together very quickly there. I'm going to add a sink in the bathroom. I end up actually moving the toilet and sink and switching them out. And then we're going to put like a mirror and some lights. And after that, we will move outside and do some landscaping in the backyard. I chose this god-awful pink and green sink, and I'm not sure why. Like, looking at it now, it's pretty hideous. But I thought that it worked well, and it's very, like, floral. It reminded me of a flower, so I thought it was perfect for Barbie. I am going to add lights to the wall by the bathtub here. You'll see momentarily, and I have to pull the bathtub out to do so. I put these two little lights, but then I put two large lights right by the bathtub, and I thought that it worked it out. Well, again, they're very floral looking. The color scheme in there is like flower. Like, it looks like a flower puked in the bathroom, not gonna lie. I do cut out. I added a lot more clutter than you see here, but you can see it in the screenshots. And uh, I think it, it turns out really cute. I did play test it, and everything seems to function. So, that's good. <laughs> There are plenty of times I forget to play test, and this time I want to be sure that everything worked, and it seems to. So that part of it is all functional for you. I do end up switching out- okay, we're on the rooftop patio. I end up switching out this table. I decided I didn't like the way that this table worked. And also, if you're sitting on a patio, you're gonna get pretty hot, because the sun's beating down, so I end up putting a table with an umbrella up here. Um, I'm pretty sure I do anyway. I thought about it. I think I do. But yeah. And up switching it out and I make it a little more functional. I do add up lights up here as well. I take some little lights and I put them across the back and again they're pink and bright colorful just like Barbie would love and so that's what's happening here and you'll see that. We're gonna move on to the back um, yard I guess you call this the backyard yeah we're not moving back there we're gonna put a pink tree it's like that lantern tree so it's a pink tree with like little hanging lanterns and we've got the one that lights up in the front there. And I think that that turns out really cute. We also have a small little garden area. We have a flower arranging table and some towels to send Dan. And yeah, that'll be about it. We're going to come to the end of the video really soon. So I will probably go in a second and let you enjoy it. Uh, share in the comments what games you've been playing. What are your favorite games? I do own quite a few of them. I Like I said, I've mostly been playing House Flipper and City Skylines. But I'd love to know what you've been playing outside of Sims or even what you're doing in The Sims. I'd love to hear that too. Um, yeah, and just let me know what you think of this build. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because there are build more builds that will be coming out shortly. And I would love to have you. So I'm going to go. I'll play you some music as we finish this up and we go into the screenshots. Have yourself a simtacular day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till
You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you talking to Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign I just wanna let you know I could go for this No more tricks We could take things slow Say you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign oh, Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely 